Hello, I'm Simon Gorsworth. I'm lucky enough to fish, cast and design spay lines for real products, a fly line company in Idaho in America. What a job I have. Now there's a bunch of different spay lines out there in the market, far, far too many to be honest, so it's quite confusing for most spay casters knowing what line to buy and what line to choose. So we put together this short film that shows you the different types of spay lines and the different product offerings we have at Rio so that you know exactly what spay line to take out there on the river with you. So how do spay lines differ? Well, the first thing is to know that there are different groups of spay lines, different types. There's a Skagit line, there's Scandi lines, and there's traditional spay lines. And knowing which type of spay line you have or you need is the very first step in deciding what fly line to get. Skagit lines are short, heavy lines with a really thick front end and they're usually in the form of a shooting head. Skagit lines are very, very easy to cast and they are perfect for throwing sinking tips and big flies. And almost always a Skagit line requires a tip at the front end, whether it's floating or sinking. Scandi lines, short for Scandinavian, are also shooting heads, just like Skagit. But unlike Skagit, they feature very long, fine front tapers and they are beautiful lines to cast. They're great for small flies and presentation. But unlike a Skagit line, they don't need any kind of tip on the front end. You can just put your head on, put your tapered leader on and a fly and fish it like that. Finally, traditional lines. Traditional lines are longer head spay lines with long front tapers, usually integrated into a running line of its own at the back. They're a little harder to cast. They require more room behind the caster to form the D-loop. But the one strength of the traditional spay lines is that they require less stripping in at the end of each cast and much more fishing time as a result. Once you have decided on which type of line to fish, the next thing to do is to look at the length of the head. Not its actual length, but the relationship between the head length and the rod length. For example, if you have a 15 foot rod and you have a 45 foot head, that's three times the rod length. On an 11 foot rod, that 45 foot head is gonna be four times the rod length, a different ratio. So the ratio is the important part about the head length. Now, short ratios are very good in a number of reasons. They're easy to cast, they're great on smaller rivers, and they're particularly useful when you're tight to obstructions behind you. The long ratios, like five times the rod length or six times the rod length, are much harder to cast, require more room behind you. But the big advantage is that at the end of each cast, you have far less line to strip, and so you're fishing much more efficiently. So those are your two things to look at when you're starting off right at the very beginning of choosing your spay line. Choose your line type and choose the ratio that is most comfortable for you. Now, let's take a look at the individual lines we make at Rio and tell you each line and what its best application is when spay fishing. At Rio, we offer two different types of Skagit head. We have the Skagit Max, which is a full floating Skagit head, easy to cast, powerful front end, throws sink tips and big flies real easy. And we have the intermediate base Skagit Eye Fly. And the intermediate Skagit line is a great line for slower swings, for deeper swings, and also ideal in windy conditions. Both these lines are built on our ultra low stretch connect core, which is very easy to cast and ultra sensitive throughout the swing. For shorter rods, 13 feet and less, switch rods and single handed rods, there's a short series within those two categories. The Mac short, as the name suggests, is for shorter rods. And the I short, the intermediate base one, is also for shorter rods and switch rods. The shorter heads are also the most powerful of all the Skagits and will deliver the biggest punch with the toughest winds and the biggest of flies and is an ideal choice when you're absolutely tight to obstructions behind you. Rio Scandi shooting head is quite simply called the Rio Scandi. It's built on the connect core again, ultra sensitive, beautiful to cast and comes in a variety of head lengths and grain weight options so that all rod sizes and all fishing situations are covered. 
And just like the Skagit lines, when you're fishing the shorter spay rods of 13 feet and less, and the switch rods and single-handed rods, go with those short heads and use the longer head lengths on those spay rods that are longer than 13 foot. A more versatile Scandi option from Rio is called the Scandi body. And quite simply, it's a versatile body that's available in floating, intermediate and sinking densities, so a lot of depth options are covered, and to which you add a multitude of tips, floating tips, 10 foot tips, 15 foot tips, Skagit tips, Mo tips, T tips. The body is short at 23 feet long, so it's very easy to cast and it combines Scandi grace and Skagit power. And what you recommend with this is that you attach your tip with a loop-to-loop -loop connection and the short tips around 10 feet and less, you want to put on rods of 13 feet and smaller, the switch rods and the single-handed rods. But for rods of longer than 13 feet, make sure you put on tips of 15 feet and longer and you'll maintain those nice easy casting ratios. And at Rio, we also offer that as a package. You can get the Scandi Short Versa Tip, which is packaged with four 10 foot long tips and ideal for those shorter rods or you can get just the Scandi Versa tip and in that there's 15 foot long tips the longer ones and those are the ideal lines for those longer spay rods of 13 feet and more. When you're fishing a shooting head it's really important that you have the back end to the back and the front end to the front. Sounds pretty obvious but a lot of people get mixed up. So one of the benefits of the Skagit Max shooting heads and the Rio Scandi shooting heads is we incorporate these bright orange loops which indicate which is the back end so nobody will ever have a problem getting one backwards. As far as traditional spay lines go, Rio offers three options. We have the short head spay, the uni spay, and the power spay. Now the short head spay has a short head length between 40 and 50 feet, and it's a great line for people transitioning from Skagit and Scandi lines to those slightly longer belly lines. The uni spay has a head length between 50 feet and 64 feet, and then the power spay has the longest head length of all, between 64 and 72 feet. It's a great line because you don't need to do a lot of stripping. You make casts of up to 100 foot long without pulling any line in. So they're very efficient casting tools. So within that traditional spay line family, all those ratios and head length options are covered by those three spay lines. One of the latest developments in spay gear are things called switch rods, just short two-handed spay rods. And to complement those, we have two switch lines. Now, truth be told, you can quite easily use those short Skagits we talked about earlier, or the short Scandies. But if you want a line specifically designed for switch rods, these are the two options. The first one is the regular switch line. It's a line with a long head around 55 feet, so you can mend and throw big mend and control the fly at long, long range. It's a versatile line. You can quite easily spay cast with it, or pick it up an overhead cast with it, and it's great for throwing indicators and fast sinking tips. The second option is Rio's Switch Chucker. Now this is a short head switch line with a head of only 25 feet in length, and lots of power at the front end. Very, very easy to cast. The short head and power is great for throwing indicators and nymphs, for streamers and sink tips. It's extra easy to cast because of the short head and all the weight, and it's particularly useful for when you're fishing tight to obstructions behind you. So in summary, first, choose your line type, Skagit, Scandi, or traditional. And then, choose the ratio of head length to rod length that you are most comfortable with and that is most suitable for where you're going to fish. And remember that generally for rods of 13 feet and longer, go for the bigger ratios, and for rods of 13 feet and less, just go for the shorter heads. I like to think of spay lines as golf clubs. You don't golf with a single club, and equally most spay casters shouldn't spay cast with a single spay line. You're just not gonna have the right tools for every application you come across. If you enjoy this short film and you wanna know more information about spay casting and spay lines in particular, on the Rio website, there's a section called Spay Central. There's a whole bunch of information about lines, spay lines, spay products, and just general information to educate the spay caster. Thank you ever so much for watching it. And I hope one day we'll find you on a river throwing a Rio spay line.